So we're going to do a little bit of cryptography using Python, and we're going to use the PyCharm development environment. So go ahead and open up JetBrains PyCharm. And if you currently don't have it on your computer, you can uh, download it. It's going to take uh, no more than a couple minutes to download. So first thing you're going to want to do is create new projects. We're going to call this project Cryptography. Um, and make sure your interpreter is 2.7 point something. It might be something later than that, and that's okay. Just make sure that's 2.7. So inside cryptography, right click the cryptography project, go to new, go over to Python file, and call this one uh, crypto. This is where we're gonna be putting all of our stuff. So the way Python is formatted, don't worry about this stuff here where it says if name is equal to main, that's a little beyond what we're doing here. Um, but just know that the this is the main method. This is what's executed when you run the program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a new method, and we do that by typing def, short for definition, and we're going to type the name of the method. We're going to type this one ASCII. Um, and we're simply going to say for x, we'll say for character in range from 0 to 255 print so we're going to print character and then we're going to put it inside of the chr casting method so right now character is an integer so it's so it's an integer ranging from 0 to 255 Actually, we could make this 256 because it's going to be one less than that. So character is going to range from 0 all the way up to 255. If we just printed out character, well, let's see what happens when we just print out character. When we do that, let's say we invoke the ASCII method inside of the main method. Let's see what happens. So we'll go ahead and right click, run. So it just prints out all the numbers from 0 all the way up to 255. But we want their ASCII. So what we do is we type CHR and then put character inside of that. We run it. And that's actually what we want. So it starts with all of the special characters from 0 to 31, going up to the symbols letters, and then special characters that I don't have on my system right now. Okay, so next let's go ahead and define the Caesar encrypt method. So the Caesar encrypt method takes in a string called plain text, and it also takes in um, a key value. So what we'll do is we'll start off by declaring cipher to be a blank string. So notice that in Python, you actually don't need to define the data type. It's an interpreted language, which means that it will, the interpreter will go through and actually say, oh, okay, well, you know, cipher, you're giving it a value that looks like a string, so I guess cipher is a string. So it automatically makes it for you. Um, now, this is actually slower in practice, but for what we're doing, it's not actually going to make a difference. This is pretty, it's pretty negligible unless you're doing something pretty serious. So what we'll do is, we'll say for 
we want to iterate through every character in plain text for index and range and we'll say zero to the length of plain text and we can say cipher we want cipher to be cipher plus and then plain text and if you want to access a character in a string you just need this bracket notation which is a lot easier than a lot of other languages we'll say index So what this does is that this is actually just going to construct it so that it's plain text, but we want to make sure that we're adding um, not only plain text, but the key value as well. So we'll say key mod 256. and we'll make sure this is cast as a character might be there we go so what we're doing is we're saying cipher is is going to be equal to the previous value of cipher plus the character index at index of plain text plus the character key mod 256 cast as a character and we mod by 256 because if the key is greater than um, 255 we're going to be going beyond the ascii table and then we say return cipher so we'll say print Caesar encrypt and we'll say hello world and we'll use a key of five. Let's see what that says. See if that works. All right, so when we're adding the cipher, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be adding the character at plain text, but we're going to have to add the integer value. And to add the integer value of a character, or to convert backwards from a character to an integer, we write ORD and put that character in parentheses like that. So now we have a number. Then we can add the key. Then finally we can mod everything by 256 so that if it's so if this uh, sum is greater than 256, we end up um, we end up with the number that we can we end up with the character that we can use. Otherwise, it just doesn't really do anything. And we'll convert that all back into a character. So there's a lot going on there. So make sure you're kind of like reading through it so that you can parse it and understand it. Or we can also just use an augmented assignment operator like this. It's a little cleaner. So the plus, uh, the plus equal sign just means that this is equivalent to cipher gets cipher plus. So we're just taking the initial value of cipher, but then we're tacking this on the end. All right, so then when we run it, we get our encrypted value. So let's go ahead and uh, define Caesar decrypt. It's gonna be very similar, except we're passing in a cipher and a key. Then we'll say plain text is just a blank string. We'll say for index in range zero and then the length of plain text actually we'll say the length of cipher because we want to iterate through cipher that's what the parameter and we'll say plain text gets and this is really going to be exactly the same the only difference is that we're at we're going to be subtracting the key instead of adding it. And then we simply return plain text. All right, so if this works, we should be able to copy that value that we got from Caesar encrypt, which is this, and then get hello world back if we pass it into this method with the, key, with the same key. Hmm. That wasn't it. Um, let's copy that again, there we go. So we run it. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, sorry. This should be Cypher. 